Good to see the hostility. Good to see the attitude. Change of angle for Roach around the wicket. Can expect uh, him to try and get the ball up into Callis' rib cage. Good lifting delivery. That's a really good one. And he's following through and right up in the face of uh, Jacques Callis. Steve Davis is going to have a word here. Yeah. No, come on, this game's nearly over. Let's not uh, make it too ugly. Oh, There's a whole collection. What's going on? Goodness me. He roaches back. He wants more. This isn't nice. This isn't nice at all. I think it's good to see Chandapol having a word with him to calm him down. The hostility is good, the aggression is good, but taking it too far, it's not necessary. It, it demeans West Indies cricket when it gets to this. When the West Indies were dominant, none of this was necessary. You bowled a superb delivery. You've had Callis fending away, you've unsettled him somewhat. You've done your job. Get back up there and try another one. Took him on the helmet, just on the peak of the helmet. The verbals just cheapen the entire thing and they're going to go at it again. He wants to take him on even more. Why? Why is that necessary? so silly so so silly and it begs the question where was this aggression three weeks ago four weeks ago suddenly found it when the opposition need 18 to win the test match umpires are in that's why it's not so much aggression as hot-headed stupidity that is allowed to, to fester in an environment that's, that seems to suggest that in-your-face sort of attitude is the equation of aggression. It's not the same thing. It spoiled what has been a fantastic spell of bowling from him. Callis just walking past. I don't know whether he said something quietly. Yes, he probably said just go back and bowl. No, just to look. That's all it was. Lips did not move. Roach once more. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. This match is effectively over. It's beautiful, good, hostile bowling by Kimar Roach. And that is enough. It makes the point. The, the fact of the matter is that it looks so stupid that the West Indies are suddenly in your face and hostile and confrontational in a match in which they are about to be well and truly hammered. It's a fantastic delivery that. Just as well for the helmet. He's done some nasty damage. I think he just said well bowled to him. A little bit more as he's walking away. The more you watch it, the more s silly it looks. Uh. The follow through somewhat shorter this time, so perhaps he's got it out of his system. Another short ball. All 
things aside, he's generating good pace, good hostility. He's fired up. But well, that's it. But the very first delivery that he faces, A.B. de Villiers, has been an outstanding series for him personally, averaging over 160. And a triumph for South Africa. Let's see if they'll shake hands. Jacques Callis, not uh, with uh, Kimar Roach. But uh, Callis, good spirits, good camaraderie with the other players, even if it doesn't involve the fast bowler. A sour taste to the end, but really it should not detract from the sweetness of victory for the South Africans. Roach keeps walking away from uh, any opportunity to shake hands uh, with uh, Jacques Callis. Callis is going after him now, and they do. That's good to see in the end. All of that aggression was really unnecessary. Roach is usually the, the most genial of young men. And there was really something about his attitude today that took a lot away from his own effort. But he picked up three wickets and at the end of it all, Graham Smith emerges as the triumphant captain. Yes, if we can try and look past all that... Uh what we've seen here is a very very good performance from the South Africans well, a depleted West Indian team especially in the bowling department but they weren't able to bat well enough